You guys have been asking for it. I'm gonna give it to you. Here is my official demigod build that I have been using lately. We're gonna go over the full build, how to make it, the badges. I am using the best badge setup for this particular build. My jump shot, my animations and drill moves, my drill pull up, my dunks, my takeovers, all that stuff. This is a video you do not wanna miss, and this is a build you definitely wanna make. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Pristine jerseys is coming with the heat. They just got the new city jerseys in. They have every sport. They have throwback jerseys, and they even have the short shorts from 2K. Link will be in the description. I am going over the builder live with you guys. We're going to make a point guard. We're going to make him six foot eight, 180 pounds. 2K Toots did a test that the lower the weight, you actually are a little faster, even though the um, actual speed and acceleration does not show that, but we're going 180 lowest weight. We're going 7.5 wingspan. You can really go any body style i went with solid we're gonna start off with finishing an 86 driving dunk so we get the limitless takeoff we're gonna go with a 73 driving layup and a 76 and the reason why we're going like that is so we get 14 in total you need to add plus three badges to your finishing so you get limitless takeoff on gold you need to add three more or you will not get the best finishing badge in the game next we are going to max out our three and put a 61 free throw that's just because we'll get an extra point when we are done and i just put it on free throw you have the 85 three for the silver limitless range compared to bronze and just having a higher three point rating helps your make percentage on threes i'm even running a sleeve that gives me a plus one on my three so i get an 86 three point and i run jump shot boost the higher the three-point rating the higher your make percentage is i know some of you might complain on the 70 mid-range but i promise you that is more than enough middies have always and will always be really easy regardless of the rating i have a friend who shoots green middies 24 7 with a 58 midi 70 is more than enough for our ball handle we are going to go 89 we get the quick first step on hall of fame this is huge we're gonna go with a 75 pass accuracy so we get the LeBron passing style. And we're gonna go with a 78 speed with ball. And if you guys did not watch my video on the truth about speed, speed with ball and Excel, speed with ball only takes effect after your first four steps that's why we're not maxing out at 80 we're just doing a 78 for our defense we are going 92 perimeter for that gold clamps we are going with 90 steel for the gold interceptor you can go gold glove if you want but you'll just have to lower your rebounding but this is exactly how i have my build with the 90 steel the difference between gold and silver interceptor is actually a lot more than you think for interior we're going with a 70 I know a lot of you might think that's low, but block is what really matters. Interior is just hands up defense when you're in the paint and you are a guard. So block is a lot more important. And we're going to go with an 88 block for chase down artist on Hoff and silver anchor. I'm big on offensive rebounds, especially on the twos. So we are going with a 70 O board. And then for defense rebound, we are going with 68. That is more than enough for defensive rebounds. Put on box out beast and box them out. Then for our physicals, we are running max acceleration, of course, with 80 speed. That is more than enough. Do not go any higher than that. It just wastes points. We're going to go with a 45 strength, a 66 vert, and then a 98 stamina and those are all the attributes of the build let's get into the badges and the animations all right y'all let's jump into the badges for my plus seven i added three on finishing and four on playmaking i have every category cord right now slithery limitless clamp breaker and clamps i really recommend doing all those when you make this build so you can get this build to its full potential if not i'll show you some other options so let's do finishing you need limitless takeoff which is why we have 17 finishing you need to add plus three badge points to, to your finishing or you cannot get limitless takeoff and this is the most important badge we got fast switch because i like doing the standing dunk glitch link to that will be in the description go check it out after this video fearless finish 
Masher because it's better than Masher and all my other options. Then Rise Up and Acrobat, I don't get them any higher than that. Shooting, we got Limitless Core, like I said, so we can get Blinders. If you do not core this, run this instead of Blinders. And back to finishing, if you don't get Slithery Core, it's okay. I know it's a really hard badge to core. Just use Limitless Takeoff, please. Back to shooting, don't use Blinders if you don't get this cord. Limitless is better than Blinders, but if you do get it cord, obviously use Blinders. Green Machine, the best badge in the game, Agent 3s, and then Amped. A lot of people sleep on Amped. I dribble a lot. I like to ISO, and this badge actually is used pretty much more than Blinders. If Yeah, it's about the same amount used as Blinders. For Playmaking, got Clamp Breaker Cord Gold. If you do not want to core this, that is okay. I just like to rim run a lot and I like every edge I can get. No point in running killer combos on this build. I ran it on my 6-9 because the ball control wasn't high enough and I couldn't do certain moves that I wanted to do, but it is high enough on this build. So run handles for days and unpluckable. I wonder if you can, let me see some. Okay, perfect. Just wanted to make sure you could still get handles for days and unpluckable without coring clamp breaker. Then we have quick first step hall of fame, obviously one of the best badges in the game. The difference between gold and hall of fame is a ton i feel way faster on my 6.8 compared to my 6.9 bailout i really just got because of the last season for the level 39 reward you won't be able to get bailout unless you got the plus seven and hit 40 every season like me so because you don't have bailout well most of you won't you're gonna run hyper drive and then ankle breaker on silver or bronze or whatever you get it on or the rest is just personal preference but this is how i got it and then for defense clamps cord you get clamps on gold i love it i noticed the difference in my perimeter defense compared to silver clamps a lot anchor must have badge obviously chase down glove interceptor i love getting them lane steals and silver interceptor compared to gold it's huge that's why we went with the 90 steel and then box out beast i like to get rebounds and then ankle braces just on bronze no point to put it any higher than that if you're playing threes and you don't want to use box out beast you can put on like pick dodger or or workhorse or take those three off and put on pogo on bronze for my takeovers i am running double limitless take you can use pull up precision or any of these other takes if you want but how i play i like to shoot from deep makes me way harder to guard and then obviously accelerator if you do not have accelerator yet you really need to get it literally makes a great player into a god like the difference is so good if you're a good player you will become great with accelerator you get your takeover just so so fast and gives you such an advantage i have gym rat i run turbo boost for every game i know it's expensive but i want every edge i can get i am a sweat i would consider myself a comp player you guys know that for my drill moves these are my drill moves you need to watch my dribble tutorial that video is very good the link will be in the description watch that after you're done watching this everyone asks me what my pull up is i use pro 2 and then i'll show you my jump shot and my dunks right now my jump shot i don't even know which one it is which one is it go okay goat uh where is it and here it is uh i don't even know if i released the shot i think i have but here is my jump shot use this it's godly and then for my dunks very very important and very underrated i use quick drops off one my standing dunks you don't need this for the standing dunk glitch that video will also be in the description like i said in that video you can do it with a 25 standing dunk but i just have these because why not and then i run lebron james dunk package those are all of my dunks i literally only run two i didn't even realize that that's op as heck my dribble tutorial is on screen right now even if you don't make this this build i really recommend watching it i answered all questions and comments have a good day go out but